guys welcome back to another daily vlog it is monday february the 27th and we are counting down what five days until we go live tuesday Wednesday, thursday friday saturday five days until we go live <laughs> about to hit the fan but good news good news my package is ready to be picked up so i'm so excited so you guys saw my vlog last Friday, yeah, because I think this comes out after that. Then you'll see that I um, was pissed at FedEx for jacking up my package and him not even trying to deliver my stuff with his little ugly self. Anyway, so I switched it that I can pick it up from the local FedEx. And so it is ready. They opened at 8, but I don't. I want traffic and stuff to die down. I don't have any meetings this morning. So right now I'm going to pick it up. My first meeting is at 12. Um, I have been up working. I started working at like 7 this morning because I just have so much to do. So I did get up early and start working this morning super early. Probably before 7. I sent my first email out this morning at... <laughs> Let's see what time I sent that email out. I thought it was like... Ah. Ah. I sent my first video out at 6.48 <laughs> this morning. So yeah, I was up, up and ready to go. Um, I gotta build this charge this morning and get that out for the people who need it and let them get it out and set up all the stuff they need to set up. And um, I'm just about to go brush my teeth, wash my face, and then hopefully we'll be at the FedEx place about nine to pick it up. Traffic should have died down. I should be able to shoot there and shoot back right quick. I'm so excited for this package, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I love it. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back and we're in the car. Um, so the FedEx people, like I said, I think I said, I don't know if I told you guys already. I um, don't know. Focus on me. I'm over here. Over here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, really? Okay. There we go. Um, the FedEx people uh, told my package is ready for pickup. I told you guys I was uh, I think I told you in the last vlog that I wasn't fooling around with them no more I was like just leave it at the facility and I will come and get it child because y'all act like y'all don't understand what uh, address is you literally can put my address in the GPS it'll bring you right, right to my house so FedEx has no excuse whatsoever when there's a such thing called GPS okay thank you folks anyway <laughs> where you gonna rent no more about this package because we're about to go pick it up i'm so excited <sighs> i waited a whole week for it <laughs> well, almost two now flew around with fedex but anyway that's what i'm gonna do i did all my little emails this morning and communicated everything i needed to communicate and when i get back home it's gonna be back into work mode uh just getting a lot of records and stuff looked at make sure they're right and they're correct um and in the system the way they should be before we go live on saturday of course everything we can look at it seven times nothing ever goes the way it's supposed to on the first day okay something's gonna be messed up something's not gonna be working right something's gonna be tell okay and we're just gonna have to you know plan not plan for it but just have a plan of what to do when stuff don't go right so we're supposed to be having like a meeting on a wednesday morning on like the command center and how it works and what we're going to be doing and how we're supposed to be doing it because as i've told you guys before i've never worked in it before i've never worked on a project of this magnitude with so many moving parts um i have done a live eh EHR system before but it was when the government required everybody to go from paper to an electronic EHR so we never went from electronic to electronic so everything was paper and you just manually had to put everything in which is a lot easier and we didn't have to build anything with that system I think the only thing we built was like some reporting um, some preference sheets and stuff like that but other than that no I did not to this magnitude and I actually enjoy it's frustrating let's get that part straight out look okay it's frustrating but I actually enjoyed it I like I told you guys a hundred times before I'm a nerdy person so I love to learn new things um, you know and I'll overcome the, I, I mean I'm gonna get frustrated I'm gonna be mad I'm gonna be pissed but I'm gonna figure it out <laughs> somebody, somebody go help me figure it out and I don't like for people to do things 
for me I want you to sit down and show me what you're doing because like I said you're not always going to be there you're not always going to be you know a phone call away an email away I might need to get it done right then they might be in a rush so I like for people to sit down and explain things to me so that when it comes up again or it comes back around you know I'll remember what happened and a lot of stuff you know you can't remember everything but certain stuff you're going to remember that's like uh, that's really became a big deal and people had a problem with so I try to make sure that I know like certain things that came up in question before I kind of like uh, try to remember them in the back of my mind or I have like a, a word document of like important emails about why we did something a certain way especially if it was a whole to do and we had a whole meeting and it took us forever to figure it out like I like to write that stuff down and say why we did it this way who agreed and why we agreed and why it couldn't be done the other way because what you don't want to happen is for somebody to not remember why we do it some some the way we did it and then change it and it jack up the whole system like we're not trying to do them we're not trying to play them games okay not not uh -huh. so yeah so that's what's going on with that and so i'm super excited to go live on saturday i really really am i mean i just want to see how everything's work you know i i was a part of making this system building it into what it needed to be and you know for years to come as long as i work there you know uh, me and the rest of the gang you know epic gang can say that hey we built this system we did it we you're using this because of us okay okay bragging right <laughs> but anyway and it's a valuable tool it's a va very valuable to learn this system this system is used world i think worldwide yeah but i think they say they have systems other than other countries but of course i would probably only understand the united states version because you know i don't know about how medical care and all that shit work over in another country but definitely in the united states i mean at this point people say you know you can work anywhere do anything if you are certified in this epic system um and you know i'm a creature of habit so i probably ain't gonna go nowhere but you know you never know never say never okay so let's go pick up our package because i've been ran fedex is all the way back in the cut baby Let's go get our package. We have secured the goods. Yay. Um, I'm kind of concerned that they didn't tape the box up. Like anybody could have opened it and went on about their business. But I did check it's in there. So that's very odd to me. But I guess they're trusting in under other country. And you'll understand why when we get home. So let's go back to the house. I was like, oh, you can stop getting birth. We're not spending no money. Yoshi. I don't care if the month did start over. Go home and eat your avocado toast. Uh, and that's what we finna do. So, And we finna make our chai latte. So we're not spending any unnecessary money in the month of March. And my cash envelope start today. Well, it actually started yesterday. Oh, that remind me. I need to go to the bank and get my money right quick while I'm out. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go out and get my cash to stuff my cash envelopes with. Uh, so I already have. We're at the bank. Uh, I like the bank, but I don't think I don't like that the bank has changed is they don't do withdrawal slips anymore. I feel like if you're somebody who needs money back a certain way, you need a withdrawal slip. Because then I got to sit here and explain to you how I want my money back. So, when I could I need to make myself one of those little plastic withdrawal things. And I can just check everything off so I can reuse it. So, I'll probably make one of those in a little while. I mean, I don't go to the bank as much anymore, but that would be very helpful. I'm trying to see how I want this back before she um, come back on the line. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I made these little. So at least <laughs> I never have anything in my car when when I'm in. I don't have no lotion, no hand sanitizer, no nothing. So I finally went to was it Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree, and picked up. I already had these little pouch things, these black ones, and I made me these little kits. <laughs> And I'm about to tell you guys what I have in them because Alicia talked about me so bad. I was like, okay, I'm going to get me a little kit in my car too. And I didn't think about it. I could have wrote it on here. Um, let's see what I want. So I'm getting $4.69. So I have, in this one I have pins. The little tie to go cloth thing. Some Lysol. And I have those little flosser things that you floss to get stuff out of your teeth. And I have like a little notebook. And then... In this one, I have band-aids, some body wash, some deodorant, some lotion, some Vaseline, and some hand sanitizer. In this one, I have 
feminine products so some pads some tampons some padding liners face wipes and some hair ties and then in this one i have snacks with so some tuna fish and some um catalogs like berry little snacky uh thingamajigs and then just in there i have a bottle of tang killers and a toothbrush i need to get some toothpaste um as well because i don't have any toothpaste i thought i still had some travel toothpaste at home but i don't so yeah so that's what i have in there because i'll never be prepared and so the other day when i was waiting on Jalen come back from her little theater stuff at school i just went by the dollar tree at my house and um i just dropping stuff and bought some stuff to make my little kit that's correct. Sorry. You're fine. Thank you. <laughs> no, you can just email it. That's fine. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Always count your money before you leave the bank. Because they have to count the register down. They get wrong. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. And she got my ID and my phone. Perfect. Let's head to the house. Aaron's done for the day. Look at us being productive early on a Monday. <laughs> Guys, we are back. And as you saw, I went by the bank and got my cash envelope money, so I'm going to stuff that a little later. But let's get to the start of the show. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the box. Came from the FedEx. Finally got it. And they didn't tape it or anything, which I'm still concerned, but hopefully everything in here. And so we're going to open. They did wrap it in plastic, so I do appreciate that. They made sure. They won. Now, how the plastic get ripped, I don't know. But. So, I bought da, 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 the Marc Jacobs tote bag. You guys can't see. And I bought the one in a size medium, in a or they call it small medium. I think it used to be called small, but now it's called medium. It's the same thing. In the warm sand. I'm so excited, you guys. Y'all know usually I don't buy like name brand stuff. But y'all know I, I love I love a good tote bag, okay? So this is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's like that. It's not that regular tote bag texture. It's like that like rib texture. So I really, really like that. So I got the one in warm sand. This is the one I wanted. I could have got one cheaper, you know, that was beige or whatever, but I really, this one stood out to me because it's black and tan, which is most of my wardrobe is neutral. So I feel like this will go with every little thing in my closet. So it looks like this. And it has a little Marc Jacobs thing in the back. So this one did come from all the way from Great Britain or, U or the UK, which one? One of them places. Anyway, bought it in, um, because I can get a discount on the website. I use the website Farfetched and you know, all them places, they don't give discounts. And so I got 10% off. Plus I got cash back on my, um, is it Rakuten? Rakuten, whatever you want to call it, a little cash back site. And so I've ended up paying, let's see, on the site, it was 315 and then minus 10 more dollars. So I paid like 305 for it. So I saved some money. It was free shipping. It was regular $325. Y'all know I don't pay that much for no bag, but I love this one. So when you see it a million times, don't say shit to me, okay? Don't say, don't say nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and get it open. 
can see what it comes with. So it comes with a dust bag. The Marc Jacob dust bag to keep it in when I'm not using it to make sure it uh, stays nice and dust free. Super cute. And then of course we got the strap. There they tie this stuff up in here. They said ain't nobody finna get nothing. Don't be taking nothing out of this bag. I appreciate it. Um get my little cutter thing here. Cut the string off. Alright, so we got the strap. Alright, and the strap is a black. That's just a nice black adjustable strap. Really sturdy. It has silver hardware. So silver hardware. And then it's just stuff with tissue. That's it. Stuff with tissue and cardboard. Cardboard, and so and then it has a little tag on here that says Mark Jacobs, and it says it is the medium tote in warm sand. Retail um, over there where I bought it from was three hundred dollars. In the United States, it's freaking three twenty five. I saw old videos when it first came out it was two ninety five. So yeah, you know that's what I get for not keeping up with shit. Now probably gonna pay two ninety five. Plus 10% plus free shipping. But we don't think about it. We don't think about it. So it looks like this on the inside. So you can see where they embroidered the tote bag logo in there. It does have inside of it these two pockets. So two pockets right there with the Marc Jacobs. And then it has a zipper pocket as well that you can stick stuff in or oh, something in here. So we'll look at that and it has the zipper pocket as well this is a very good quality this is really really thick like canvasy tote material it is keeping its shape there's nothing in it there's no nothing in it at all no feet on the bottom or anything so the one thing i did buy already that came ahead of time which I have been carrying, which I put inside of this tote bag that I have from London Fog is this insert. And so a lot of people said they got the large insert off of Amazon to put in here. So I literally can try to get this out of the bag. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So I got the one that go. Oh, this doesn't match exactly, but it doesn't matter. So this is what it looks like. And it has like whole bunch of pockets and stuff and this one in the middle actually velcros in and it should fit down in here perfectly from my understanding it helps to keep its shape and then it doesn't have any pockets besides those two so this will help you like get everything in here and be able to organize it how you need to be so now we have an organizer inside of the tote and it'll make, help it keep its shape and it also has a zipper that looks weird. Is it broken? Why does it look like that? I feel like it's twisted. Is the zipper twisted? Let's go this way. And now one more time this way. There we go. And it also has a zipper. So if you want to zip it closed. And then the zipper. I don't know why they made the zipper so long. But you could just tuck it down in there. <laughs> Take it down in there and then this is the tote i'm so excited you guys it is so freaking cute yeah, i'm so excited mm -mm -mm. i'm about to do another unboxing for my for my instagram but i love it so much so that is the big bag that i've been waiting on doesn't it just scream me <laughs> but anyway i already back to work so i will check with you guys later Taco Mama with Ophelia for her birthday today. So she wanted to go to lunch, so we're gonna go to Taco Mama. Let's eat. Hey guys, I am back. It is five o'clock, so I've already picked up Jalen. I talked to my niece on the phone. My hair is looking a hot ass mess. 
all of the things on this good Monday morning. Um, but anyway, I am about to cook, so I'm boiling, starting the water for the macaroni and cheese. The chicken wings are already thawed out. They're just sitting in some water right quick. Um, and then I am currently reading Frozen Pass, which is the first book for the month of March. Um, I'll probably read this one and then read the book club book, but this is what the cover looks like. It's called Frozen Pass by Richard C. Hale. And that's what it looks like. And I'm currently on chapter three, so not too far into it. It's good so far, interesting. So let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm just waiting for the water to boil and the chicken to thaw a little bit more and then we'll season and start air frying it up and we're gonna have air fried chicken and macaroni and cheese for dinner and yeah i need to go get my my um water bottle i haven't had any water today bad me bad me but i also have not had a chai latte so you know so i haven't had either so i need to go get some water right quick let me go get my thing i'm gonna get some water and we're gonna read until this water boil just get our reading in for the day um and then I'll probably have to do some more work tonight. I'm gonna try not to. I might just wait till tomorrow and just do like I did today. Start working at 6.30 to 6.45 ish or so, whatever time I drop Jalen off in the morning and then just get straight to work. I have to get a lot of stuff done by Thursday, but I refuse to work all into the hours of the night. I'm just not gonna do it. So, I don't know what to tell I don't know what to tell you. So let's drink water and read books. <laughs> early it's only six o'clock i am finished cooking the first batch of chicken it usually take like four rounds i cook four pieces of chicken wings at a time that way i only have to cook them for 30 minutes and i know that they're done the chicken legs take a little longer they're like i think i can get four in there and I have to cook for like 45 minutes to make sure they're done all the way through because ain't nobody trying to die so i'm the mail the boys i'd be telling my children all the time but i usually cook the first round for them and let them eat and then of course as a parent we eat second just how it be so while i was waiting for all that i went ahead and got in the shower and wind down for the night i haven't brushed my teeth washed my face yet because i'm gonna eat dinner um when the second batch is done and yeah they're about to go to the store and get them some drinks and some snacks child they feel gotta have something but anyway i am going to sit here and read my book and be productive while i wait on the second batch of chicken to get done so 
I will come and show you guys my plate when it's I get it. a little it. nippy. I got two chicken wings and some macaroni and cheese. Don't say shit. Don't say shit. I'm finna eat it, okay? Just, just so you know. So I'm on chapter nine of my book. Um, I'm 17% in. Um, so I am currently on chapter nine. It's good so far. At first, I got confused because I was talking about two other characters when this was supposed to be about the detective named Jax. Remember in my, if you watch my book video, he's the one who lost the son and be getting drunk and stuff. <laughs> and he caught a case of a child who drowned in the pool. And it was it didn't start off like that. I'm like, is this the right book I'm reading? And then I went to look up the synopsis and it was completely different than what I read to y'all. It talked about something else. And I'm like, what book am I reading? Y'all this book had me lost for me. I'm like, this is a new book with the same title with the same author. Like, what are they doing? It's all connected, but I guess there's more than one synopsis out there, girl. They had lost me. I was like, oh, jeez, am I crazy? Did I not get the right book? But it's good so far. So we're at the part where he finds the um, the, the child dead in the pool. Um, and so, yeah, so that's where I am. So we're just going to keep on reading for a little bit. I'll probably read to about, what time is it, 6? Maybe about 8, and then I'll probably watch me a movie before I go to bed, bed. And start my day early, manana, y'all. So I'll check back. It's a little bit later, and then I said it is nine eleven, and I am on chapter fourteen, page forty six, and we're about to start reading. Pretty good so far. Um, I did fill up my water thing over there. Jalen say midnight water, <laughs> and I wanted something sweet, so I got me an apple eat and we're just about to find something on this tv that most likely will be watching me in the next five minutes but we're gonna do it anyway while i eat my apple and wind down for the night so if i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog wasn't too much going on but a fun day nonetheless we picked up our bag i love it took my friend out for her birthday cooked dinner worked and chilled out very balanced day so i will see you guys in the next vlog deuces <laughs>